on today's ProPresenter show how to add fonts to macOS so that you can use them with ProPresenter and other software. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about this amazing software, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you can be the first to learn the new tips and tricks I share about ProPresenter. Jeff McIntosh over at churchmotiongraphics.com just released a new font created especially for the needs of the church and geared toward lyrics, sermon notes, and other projection needs. The morning it came out, someone on the ProPresenter users group asked how to install a font in macOS, so I thought that I would make a little video to show how. So let's head over to that video and take a look. So of course you've got to start off by getting a font. So I'm going to leave a link to this below the video if you're on YouTube or on my blog, trinitydigitalmedia.com. But this is a font that's free for churches to use um, from Church Motion Graphics. Great people over there, so make sure you stop off in case you don't want to click on the link or you're looking at this somewhere else. It's www.churchmotiongraphics. Dot com slash cmg dash sans and that'll take you here so you click here it downloads and the very first thing that you'll find is you have a zip file if you're on a Mac just double click that it should unzip uh, if you're on a PC you might need to uh, do it another way and that will give you this guy a little folder that says CMG Sans so you open that up and look what we've got here all these true type fonts so let's also open this in yep this is uh, more information about church motion graphics but let's just uh, let's double click on this first one okay you see that once you've done that it opens up this program called font book again I'm on a Mac and there's a little button here that says install font okay Give it just a second, and there we go. And it just has this uh, black version here, so I'm going to go ahead and select the rest of these. Open with font book. Give it just another second and see it's gone ahead and done all of them. So you probably want to, instead of just doing one the way that I did it the first time, you want to click on the first one, scroll down to the bottom one, hold down shift and click on the last one and that'll select a range of them. Alternatively you can also, um, if you are in this view, you can just drag to select them and that works as well so that's how you do that and since I'm the ProPresenter guy let's fire up ProPresenter and see if it's there now we're gonna edit slide Select that, go over here to the font. Right now I'm on Avenir. Let's see if we've got CMG Sans. Yes, we do. 
So there you go. That's how you install a font for ProPresenter on Mac OS. And special thanks once again to Church Motion Graphics for the CMG Sans font. Whether you're using CMG Sans or another new font, that's basically how you do it. If, like with this font, it has multiple true type files, make sure you click the first and then shift click the last to select a range of files before opening and installing them. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you like my t-shirt, you can get your very own copy from my Amazon merch store at tdm.fyi slash tdmshirts. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity. Whether you're using CMG, uh, let's do that again. And before we get started, I'd like you, uh, take three, and I think that's it. Actually, let me do that second part again.